Okay, so now I'm going to call back on this guy. You remember this? Right? The reason why we were interested in this fraction is because I can pop it into, I can substitute it into this inequality. So here's the way I'm going to write this. I need a bit of space here. What we are trying to find is the greatest coefficient. So I'm going to encourage you to write this very small phrase. Uh, all we have to say is, like, why are you about to write this inequality? I'm going to say, to find greatest coefficient. Just so that my equations and inequalities and expressions come in a context of some kind. Like, this is why I'm about to write what I'm about to write. To find the greatest coefficient, what I want to know is when do the terms keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger? Right? When is the next term bigger than the one that preceded it? Okay? So to find the greatest coefficient, um, I need to solve this. Right? That's what I'm looking for. But what's equivalent to that is this guy. And I have just gone through all the effort of finding out what this left-hand expression is without all of the factorials and some of the superfluous powers in the way. So I'm going to substitute into here the expression I got in the previous question. Right? So I'm going to say, don't need this anymore. I'm going to say, this is what I'm solving now, 36 minus 3k on. Can you go ahead and solve that for me? Won't take you many lines, just go ahead. Just be careful with your algebra and your negative signs if you end up getting any. Did you get there? Yeah, you happy with that? So uh, you could have done it any way you liked. Um, if you wanted, you could have added 5k to both sides rather than subtracting 5k. But you have to get k on the left-hand side, so at some point, your inequality is going to switch direction, whether by multiplying by a negative or just by, by swapping both sides of the inequality. Okay? So you get to this point. Okay? Now, what was the point of saying this? Well, k has to be less than 6 and 4 fifths for what? Well, for this, for this to be true, over here, right? So remembering that k is an integer, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., all the way up to 12, okay? I can say, therefore, for k equals, now what values will it work for? 0, 1, 2, all the way up until 6. Right? You can't say 7 because that doesn't satisfy this inequality. Right? For these values of k, my inequality is true. The one I, I started with, right? t sub k plus 1 will be greater than t sub k. So I'm going to write that down. Okay? Now, what I can infer from that, which means, you know, therefore, for all the other values of k, for k equals 7 and 8, and 9 all the way up until 12. This is not true. The opposite is true, right? So the next term afterwards will not be bigger than the term before it. It will be smaller. Okay? So now I can actually start to write this out. Uh, you know how I had my whole list before of t0, 1, 2, 3, etc., and where they get bigger and where they stop getting bigger? So I can say term 0. Is term 1 going to be bigger than term 0? Is term 1 going to be, sorry, coefficient 0? Is coefficient 1 going to be bigger than coefficient 0? And the answer is yes, because it's one of these, right? It's one of these cases. So I can say that is going to be less than that. And is it true for this? Well, yes, it's still true for this. Is it still going to be true for this one? Yes. In fact, it's going to keep going all the way until we get to here. Right? Now just notice what we just said here, right? For k equals 6, k equals 6 is the last time that this is true. Now if you just put that directly into your inequality, this is what you get, right? Here's, here's term 6 over here on the coefficient 6 on the right hand side. Over on the left, what coefficient is here? 
coefficient 7. That's 6 plus 1, right? So this is the last time when one coefficient, the successive coefficient, is bigger than the previous one. There it is. This is the same as this. Are you okay with that? But afterwards, the inequality is no longer true. So t7 is as big as it gets. t8 will be smaller, and t9 will be smaller, and so on, right? It will continue, okay? So I have just established here, through this logic, that t7 must be the biggest of the t's, the biggest of the coefficients, right? So I can say, right here, I can conclude, therefore, t7 is the greatest coefficient. Okay? Now, there's a lot of writing here, and that's appropriate because you're trying to prove something here. You're not just trying to find a value. You are trying to show, you're trying to establish, you're trying to demonstrate. So while it feels like, oh my goodness, I have to say this and all that kind of thing, the logical machinery is what makes your proof actually work. Okay? You can find this value and still not understand why it's actually the case. And a lot of students will fall down. They'll say, oh, is it six or is it eight? Which one is it? They get quite confused here because they don't understand the logic. All right? But lastly, once you have used the logic, you want to actually get a conclusion from it. So part C says, write down the greatest coefficient, uh, leave it factored. So they mean when you get numbers here, don't actually expand them out and evaluate. So if you have a look back, you can see we've got term k. We know what that is, but I, coefficient k. I don't want coefficient k. I want the seventh one. Okay, so all I'm going to do is substitute in 7. So instead of 12ck, I'm going to write... What value of k am I currently interested in? 7. seven. So I'm going to write 12c7. How many 2's will there be in this case? Have a look. It's 2 to the power of 12 minus 7. seven. So there will be 5 of them. 2 to the power of 5. And then how many 3's will be trailing on the end? 7. seven. Dunskis. Okay. Now, this will, of course, make way. This is the greatest coefficient, so we haven't worried about the x's that appeared in the original question. But later on, we're going to have a look at what happens when x itself also takes on numerical values. And that's when we look at not the greatest coefficient, but the greatest term. Okay.